shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity, I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. Hello my friends and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is none other than Shenmue on the Dreamcast. This is probably one of my favourite games of all time. In fact, scratch that, Shenmue is probably, definitely, my favourite series of all time. It is such a unique experience. Um, it is a game that quite a few people have already covered, uh, and it's one of the games that when I first started LPing, it was right at the top. But the Dreamcast, um, especially when I first started, wasn't an easy system to record, uh, especially as I wanted to record everything in VGA. But uh, now I've invested in a new VGA box and I've brought a new Dreamcast, it's time. With the announcement of Shenmue 3, it is definitely time to start this game. This game isn't really like anything else. Uh, it was the first open world game and it also did a lot of things first and we're going to explore those as we go. Now let's head up into the old options menu. We want dialogue and text. We want them on game mode. Play using both dialogue and text. Yes please. Uh, what other options do we have? Unfortunately, due to the... We'll have stereo sound, come on. Due to the way the game is actually um, running, the fact that I've got my Dreamcast set up, and then I have a VGA box, and then that's going into a VGA adapter, and then that is going into the Elgato HD60, which is doing all the recording, um, which is very generously donated to the channel, the Elgato. Thank you. <laughs> Never going to stop saying that. Um, so, yes, uh, there's nothing I can do. I wanted to actually play this in a 3x4 three, uh, three aspect ratio. Unfortunately, the way all this equipment is stretching it out into a widescreen mode, I, I haven't found a way of turning it back into a 4x3 um, three aspect ratio, which is the way the game was meant to be played. I did look into doing it with a Sony Vegas, but it makes it look really crap. So uh, we're probably going to have to suffer with it. If I can swap it back to 4.3, we will. Anyway, let's go. We're going to go for a new game, of course. Unable to locate save file. Start new game. Hell yeah. I haven't played this for so long. I really mean it. I have not played this game for years probably three years um, maybe four years something like that very long time but I'm really looking forward to it I'm so excited for Shenmue 3 I'm also quite worried at the same time but uh, it is the first um, thing that I've ever backed on Kickstarter I've got my limited edition blah blah blah, blah um, PS4 version coming I'm really hyped for that anyway let's watch as one faithful knight, Ryu is returning from town. Hmm. A black car. This game still looks really nice. And I'm going to shut up now. Oh. Huh? Inesa. Inesa. 
Dear son, uh, uh, I'm all right, but Hazuki Sensei. Uh... My father? Son, focus on. Stay back, Ryo. For the last time, where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you. Friends, 
those you love close to you. Uh, no. Father. No! For Hazuki Sensei. So, <clears throat> here we are, four days after our father was killed. And this is where our story begins, in Ryu's room. And we have our journal here. Your journal will get updated when anything interesting happens. This will always tell us what to do. Mirror with dragon design, stolen. Landy murdered dad, wore dragon robe, rare fight style, tattoo on his arm. In Meng Swoon, dad killed a man named Zhao. What happened that day in the dojo? Well, it's up to us to find out. Now, this game is very interactive. In fact, um, that's kind of what makes it as unique, uh, really, as it is. Uh, pretty much every drawer, every cupboard, you can actually go through. And we've got some towels or something there. What else have we got in here? Oh, we have socks. Wonderful. Socks are important. Mainly white socks. Don't like white socks. Ooh, and lots of white t-shirts. Okay, I do. Well, we're never going to run out of white t-shirts at that rate. Anything else? Ah, more white t-shirts. At least that's a spare backup white t-shirt in case all the others get ruined somehow. And jeans. Wonderful. I do. Anything in the bottom drawer. I used to love this. I'd go through everything. And there's all of our magazines, mangas, and the such, I am sure. What else have we got? What's in this? main area here. Ah, fair enough. More white t-shirts and a green one. Okay, cool. Now, the way we acquire items in this game I always thought was very unique. It's very realistic. See that tape? There we go. We can just pick that up and that uh, gets put in our inventory. And that is Shem Yu. That tape is actually the theme, uh, theme track for the game and we can listen to that. But we can't listen to a tape without a cassette player. Luckily, here is one. A Sega brand cassette player, no less. Let's pocket that. So, as we go throughout our journey, we'll accumulate tapes. And we can listen to them at uh, any time, pretty much. By going into our inventory, selecting our tape player. And then by selecting a tape. There we go, we can actually listen to music. And I thought this is pretty damn... This blew my mind uh, when I was a kid. 
I thought this was absolutely insane. Uh, also, notice the if we look at the cassette player, the battery indicator. Yep, we actually do have to buy batteries for the cassette player, uh, which is also interesting. We can have a better look at our Timex watch as well. It is an uh, Indiglo <laughs> Timex watch. I remember when these were like super popular. Um, I always wanted one of these, and it was because of this game that I always wanted one of these. Um, anyway, let's get out of that. So that is our inventory. What else have we got here? Ah, uh, Ryu, we already looked in here. We have Master System Control Manuals. Interesting. What else have we got? Ah, a picture. Let's grab this. As a photo of friends. Now, everything we collect in this game uh, will carry over into Shemu 2. And a lot of the decisions we make were supposed to carry over. And this game was supposed to be like 10 parts or something like that. A huge epic saga. And all the items that we accumulated throughout that entire journey. Um, we're going to be able to affect the storyline and, and things like that. Um, obviously we never saw that happen because the game was cancelled after the second one. But that was really impressive that they were trying to do that back then. And it works really well, the way you carry your progress on to Shenmue 2, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. That's uh, what Mass Effect um, really tried to bring to the table. And Shenmue was doing it, what, 10 years before Mass Effect came out. There's another tape there. We'll pocket that. We've always got the time in the corner of the screen, so we don't want to... You kind of have a curfew in this game. You have to be home by, I think it's 11 or half 11. Or Inasan gets a bit worried. Inasan is our um, maid, I guess. Dear son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh. By the way, I have this for you. What you got there? This is for today. From tomorrow, mm. I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Okay, so she's going to give us a little bit of pocket money every day. Cool. I'm sure we won't be needlessly squandering that in any arcade any time soon. Now, there are a few interesting items that we can look around and find. There are also some flashbacks we can trigger. Let's have a little gander. No, we don't want to look on that. Let's have a look at the dinner. And trigger a flashback. Oh, this music man. Oh, right in the feels and the nostalgia. While you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Okay, I'll eat them. Dad, I wonder if he. I wonder what he did to bring this upon himself. Well, I guess we're going to have to keep exploring to find out. Let's go into his room, see if we can find any clues. Oh no, <laughs> wrong room. This is Fuxan's. This is our friend. We don't want to go snooping in his room. Right, let's go to Dad's room. See if he had anything hidden away for us. What did you leave for us, Dad? Let's have a look behind any of these pictures. Anything hidden? Behind something. I remember in the house somewhere, there is a hidden move scroll. Always maintain composure and presence of mind. Nothing there. Hmm. I know there is a hidden move scroll somewhere. What have we got on the table?
Dear Ryo, Those who follow the path of a warrior must be ready to die. In order to stand by their convictions. Live for one's convictions. Die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path and follow it through. My father must have known that Lan Li was coming. Hmm. Interesting. It's a bit of foreshadowing there. So what else do we have tucked away? Check the drawer. Yeah, box. What's in the box? Huh. Mm. What's this key for? Oh, well, Rio, we're going to have to pocket that, hey, I reckon. Key. What to what? Yes, interesting. Well, we'll snatch up the key for now. I'm sure it will have a use this later may on. Come in handy. Okay. All right. Well, let's dump that back for now. And continue exploring. There is a couple of other things dotted around the house, uh, including an interesting item, which I guess we can go have a look at right now. Let's go into the living room, which is here, and check out the TV. Now, if we check out the TV... Rio, no, no, Rio, Rio. Right, no, we don't want to look at the light switch. It is a little bit fiddly. And he's looking at the light switch again. Now, holding down the left trigger will get him to lock onto things. And actually, it's the right trigger. But it it is kind of fiddly. There we go. If we have a look under this cupboard, we have a Sega Saturn. Yes. Interesting. It is 1986, the year of my birth. And we have a Sega Saturn. Yeah, something not quite right there. I'm not sure why we have a Saturn and they didn't give us a Master System instead, but um, hey, <laughs> that's the way it is, I suppose. Now, unfortunately, we can't. What? It, no, I, I, no, no, really, that's not what I, I told you to do. There we go. Uh, we can't examine it. So yeah, we can actually get games for it as well. We have to win them. They're like the top tier prizes. We can get Hang On and um, Space Harrier. But they are hard to win. And I have done it before. But again, it's complete chance. Now this is kind of like another living room type area, I believe. We want to go to the shrine, which is next to Fuxan's room, I believe. If I'm remembering correctly. And there's a couple of items in here that we want. Right. And there is the family shrine. Family altar, Buddhist. Let's check out the drawers. In here we have a pack of candles, which we will definitely be needing at a later date. Come on, Ryu, stick them in your back pocket. Now, one other item here that we need is something to light the candles with. Luckily, uh, okay, yeah, they can, yeah, yeah. don't know why his gaze keeps flying around like it is. Let's grab up these box of matches. There we go. So now we have something to light the candles, if we ever need to light candles, which I'm pretty sure we will. Let's get out of here. It's pretty much all we can do in the house at the moment. Now there's tons more to explore in the house if you want to, but unfortunately there isn't really a lot more um, to find. And I'm having some trouble getting through this door. That isn't helped by the fact that the Dreamcast control pad is a piece of junk. I thought that back in the day, and I still think that now. Even though the Dreamcast is my favourite games console of all time, I have no illusions <laughs> about the Dreamcast controller. It is terrible. So let's head on outside. Now there is a phone back there which we will be using to further some of our relationships later on in the game. So let's explore outside. Let's see if we can find Fuxan. See if he's got any information for us about these killers. 
And I do like it out here as well. It's really cool. Over here is something that I kind of always tickled me. If we look at that there, there's some um, plants growing on that. Now, that always reminds me of Resident Evil 1, when you go into the plant room. Uh, not plant 42, the plant at the beginning that you kill with the um, weed killer. Um, next to that plant, up against the wall, is a row of herbs like that on a very similar looking um, stand. Um, even back in the day, I always thought that just, that just reminded me of that scene. Anyway, if we go up here, we can trigger another flashback of Ryu with his dad. These are pretty powerful moments, I find. The music is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Keep your balance. That's right. <laughs> now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. Straighten up. Find your center of balance. Yes, like that. Yes, good. Really like those moments. Very powerful stuff. And there's my phone. Okay, now let's head into the dojo. Okay, there's a white screen for a very long time. Actually, the more I'm playing this in widescreen, the more I'm not really noticing it anymore. It looks pretty good to me. But um, yeah, if anybody is a bit irked by the fact that it ah, why is this so hard to get around these stairs um the fact that it is kind of stretched out to widescreen there's not too much i can do about it unless it's already fixed and then disregard everything i've just said hey fuxan yo son is everything okay uh, don't worry i'm fine i want to ask you about that man oh that man uh the man called landi what did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. Yeah. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryosan, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. Damn straight. I need to do this for my father. Yeah, it's interesting playing this back now. Um... <clears throat> Because when I used to play through these games, I haven't played through them for a couple of years. But uh, that always kind of bothered me, the fact that he said he's going to avenge his father. The kind of thought that we would never get a Shenmue 3. Um, I always used to think that. And that, after a while, I actually stopped playing these games. The last time I played it through, um, I kind of thought I'm not really that bothered about playing it again because we're never going to find out what happened but of course everything's different now um, we are going to see a continuation of the story so it's so much more exciting playing it again now we can trigger another scene if we look up here this is the final flashback I don't know why it's not triggering there we go soundtrack in this game is just phenomenal. What is he to you? A friend from school. And what is a friend? Well, a friend is a friend. 
That's right. Just as a parent is a parent, a friend is nothing other than a friend. But listen, Bill. Parents often die before their children. Oh. That's the law of nature. Friends will be there for you even after parents die. So treasure your friends. And friends you can trust are true friends indeed. Understood? Okay, guys, right. Now, that's pretty much all we have time for in this episode, so let's head back inside and save it. Uh, I'm going to check, see how this video came out. Hopefully everything's okay. I've had a few false starts with this, mainly uh, forgetting to uh, <coughs> turn on certain settings and things. So let's go save the game. And hopefully everything's come out this time. So this is more of a test. And then when we come back, we're going to have to head into town to start questioning certain people. Right. Yeah, Inisan, get out of the way. I'm trying to get trying to get back to our room, which is a lot more challenging than you may think. Ugh, okay. Controls haven't aged very well at all. Right, let's hit up the save. Boom. There we go. Overwrite contents of this file, but there's nothing there. So overwrite nothing. Feel free. Okay. Right, guys, I am going to end it there, and I'm going to check everything. Hopefully everything's fine, and I can continue with this, and I can just sit down and just record bags of it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. I've really enjoyed this, and I've, I'm so excited to finally bring this game to the channel. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.